I'm Mrs. Kim and I nominated Anastasia for the Chemistry Award this month for the uh, Hybrid All-Star. And the reason I nominated Anastasia is twofold. One is she is a great partner. She's a great lab partner and she's just a great workout work partner in the breakout rooms. When we do labs in chemistry, we have just one person back actually running the lab and then the lab partner might be at home, might be in the classroom, but it really takes organization and it takes a person to really draw everyone in and make sure, hey, here's what we're doing. Let's get going, be talkative, be talkative, and be active. Also, when Anastasia's in these breakout rooms, she also, she doesn't do the work just to get it done. She's done a great job this year with being descriptive, being full, giving full answers. She's not just like seeing how quick she can get the work done. What stands out, we had done um, a reading with an outside article on um, a sugar plant explosion talking about reaction rate. And her answers were full, complete, descriptive answers that she and her lab, her partner were working on together. So, um, so again, thank you, Anastasia. I appreciate all your work that you've done in chemistry this year. Uh, continue to be a great lab partner, not just in science, but in the other classes that you have also. Hi, I'm Tiffany Owens. I teach anatomy and genetics here at Libertyville High School. My winner of this month's True Wildcat Award is Callie Layton. Congratulations, Callie. I wanted to tell you a little bit about why I chose you for this really important and special award. Um, and I could say it's because academically you are just stellar. Every single piece of work you turn in is done to the best of your ability with 110% effort. It is so well thought out and um, just really, really impressive. So side note, her percent in my class is well above a 100%, which just is a reflection of what your academic efforts have been. And I appreciate that very much, but that's not why you win. You have been selected because of your attitude. I do not think I've ever seen you without a smile on your face. You are positive, you are engaged, you talk with other students, you ask questions, you talk with me. You are just an absolute joy to have in class. And I feel like that sounds so cliche, but in this year of COVID and e-learning and hybrid learning and all of the craziness, you have been all in since I have met you in every single class. And I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that as a teacher, as a person, and as a student. For me, I learn every day too. And if it wasn't for you and your attitude and your willingness to just really be present and be um, participative and putting everything out there, it just wouldn't be the same class. It wouldn't be the same experience for all of your peers and for me and for you. And I hope you have grown and learned so much in class and um, because I know I have and a large part of that is because of you and your attitude. It is truly contagious. So thank you, Callie, for being the amazing student and person that you are. I'm so proud of you. Hi everyone, it's Ms. Evans here and it's my privilege to nominate uh, Jeffrey McLaren for our true wildcat here in April. Uh, Jeffrey is a student in my geometry class, um, but I also had the privilege of teaching him in summer school a few years back as well. And um, one of the reasons I wanted to pick Jeffrey was because I think that he has grown as a student uh, in general so much in the past two years. Um, he's hardworking. He's fully engaged no matter where, uh, if we're in hybrid or in person or on Zoom. Um, and that engagement means a lot. And I think that's why he's seen so much success, um, you know, just with his grades and the mastery of the skills that we're looking for in geometry. We recently completed a project that had to deal with area of um, many different shapes and it was a floor plan of a house and they got to do all this um, neat work with different size rooms and flooring and um, he really did an excellent job with this and it just shows that he not only has these skills but he can apply them in real life which I think is really special. Um, Jeffrey also brings an amazing sense of humor to class so whether we are on Zoom or in person he always has a funny meme to share or um, a well-timed joke that I really appreciate and can break up um, that long black period that we have sometimes. So um, 
Again, it's my pleasure to nominate Jeffrey. I think that he's not only an amazing student, but is growing up to be um, an excellent example of what we're looking here uh, for our Daring graduates. So congratulations, Jeffrey. Hi, I'm Mrs. Davis and I'm a math teacher here at LHS. I'm lucky enough to be Maya's math teacher who I'd like to recognize today. I'm really excited to recognize Maya because they're the type of student who would never expect or ask for praise, even though it's extremely deserved. Whether we're in remote learning, this hybrid situation, I've been very impressed with how Maya has adapted throughout this unique school year. Always on top of things, super organized and consistently engaged, which I think we can all agree is very difficult these days. Selfishly, I appreciate Maya's focus because I know I can count on them to catch my silly mistakes and respectfully correct them. I hope Maya sees how their hard work has paid off. I know I definitely do through the success had in Algebra 2. And even though Maya is extremely quiet, I know they are having an impact on their classmates simply through the humble actions taken every day. So keep it up, congrats Maya, and thank you for being you. teacher, it's often easy to praise a student when everything is going right. All their homework is completed. They earn that A on a test. They have their hand in the air every day. But when something goes awry or maybe doesn't go as expected or as planned, a student's character often truly shines. At least that was the case for my nominee, Anna Mitchell. I'm not going to go into too many details about the complication that arose in class, but Anna encountered a problem one time as she was working with a group, as it often happens when working with different personalities and perspectives. Instead of doing what many students might do, complain to a friend, just keep her head down, keep muscling through without saying anything, she stayed after class to confide in me about the difficulty she was encountering. We problem solved together, and Anna again did something not many students would do. She did not ask me to directly step in as the teacher. In fact, when I asked if she would first like to try to face the problem head on by speaking with her group while she was nervous, she said she could do it. I was so proud of Anna in this moment. She asked for help. She problem solved when things didn't go according to plan, and she had the confidence in her voice to speak up when she felt she should. Congrats, Anna. You are my definition of a true Wildcat eSchool All-Star. Good job. Hey everybody, I just wanted to celebrate Sydney Baumstark for our eSchool All-Stars. Um, she is a phenomenal student, let me tell her. I wish I had 15 of, of her. So uh, she is wonderful and I'd like to uh, praise her for her work ethic, which is phenomenal. So when she's given an assignment, she gets it done on time. It's, it is supported with evidence, it's specific. This goes for uh, not just things like papers, although that's the main thing is when she's writing her papers. Uh, for example, the end of the wild paper was excellent. Uh, also her worksheets, uh, all of that. And so her work ethic is really what I would like to celebrate. Um, but there's also this component too, her kindness. Um, so I came back you know, from uh, being remote teaching and she came in the very first day I was back and just wanted to say hi. She stopped and said, welcome, uh, you know, welcome back, glad to see you, wanted to see who you were. Uh, and it wasn't even her class period. <laughs> so for those reasons, um, I would love to celebrate Sydney Bobstark. Thanks. Hello. My name is Jeff Brown and I'm the choir director at Libertyville High School. For this month's True Wildcat, I would like to nominate Izzy Rodolfi. Uh, Izzy is a wonderful student in my class. She's dedicated, she's hardworking. Uh, she's been a member of choir since the uh, beginning of high school, since the beginning of freshman year, and she's continued to work even during this difficult time of uh, hybrid learning and the, and the, the COVID pandemic. Uh, Izzy is also a member of my auditioned after school ensemble called the Acabellas and she comes weekly for rehearsals in person for that group. Uh, we are also very, very lucky to have Izzy as part of our musical and our theater department. She's been an extremely talented member of our uh, production of Shrek over the last couple of months where she has uh, stepped up and taken on responsibilities that 
she wasn't necessarily asked to do originally. She's had to record and fill in for some for some uh, characters who were out of town and on quarantine. Izzy is uh, is just an extremely hard worker. She's extremely talented. She does everything with grace and poise, and we are very fortunate and lucky to have her as a part of our, our music theater and our fine arts department. So congratulations, Izzy, on this award. Thank you for all that you do. Hi, my name is Adam Gore. I'm the director of bands here, and it's my pleasure to present the Student of the Month Award for April for Nick, to Nick Anderson. Nick is one of our outstanding juniors and has participated in many different ways this year in our music programs as an all-state tuba player in our wind ensemble, as a section leader for the low brass in our marching wildcats. Additionally, Nick picked up bass trombone for the first time this year and joined Jazz Lab Band and was one of the electric bass players in our musical, which will be released in a couple of weeks here. Nick is an all-around great student, great musician and leader, and he is a great choice to be our Music Student of the Month for April. Congratulations, Nick. Good morning. My name is Brent Mork, a physical welfare teacher here at Libertyville. And uh, for this month, the True Wildcat Award, I am nominating Leah Johnson from our uh, sophomore physical education class. Leah is one of the most positive, happy individuals I've ever been around. Every day she comes to class with a smile on her face, always greets you with a, a nice hello, how you doing? Um, you're just one of those students that when you see her, she puts a smile on your face because she's always in such a good mood and always so happy at school. Um, you know, it doesn't matter the activity that we're doing, Leah always gives her best and will put forth unbelievable effort every time, every day. She even won her class badminton tournament this year, which was which was awesome. Uh, didn't quite beat me, but uh, she was able to beat the rest of the students. Uh, Leah's also coming off an injury, I know, so it's been hard for her to uh, to not go as hard as she would like, even though you would never know it if you were an outsider looking in. I feel like I've had to try to uh, get her to not go so hard all the time because of her injury and uh, not wanting to do any more uh, damage to it. but. Again, she's just a, such a pleasure to have in class. Um, you know, the little things that teachers note, especially PE teachers with students that really stand out, like volunteering to set equipment out, volunteering to, to help pick up equipment. Um, anything that needs to be done, Leah is always willing to give a hand. And uh, she's been an absolute pleasure to have in class, and it's my honor to uh, nominate her for April's True Wildcat Award winner. Thanks, Leah. Hi, I'm Erin Brown, and I'm the dance teacher for the Physical Welfare Department, and I'm very honored to award Emily McLean for a True Wildcat. Emily is a student in my Dance 3 class, which is our highest level of curricular dance at LHS, and Emily is a fantastic student. She has really tried her personal best all year despite the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic and hybrid learning. Emily is a great leader and she steps up to uh, volunteer her knowledge and her dancing experience for her peers. Um, this is something that Emily has done effortlessly with enthusiasm when others have somewhat struggled or been hesitant to do so over Zoom. In addition, I've worked with Emily in Orcasis and the musical, and Emily's been a great cast member for both groups. It takes a lot of uh, dedication and commitment to balance those with the challenges of junior year and, and schoolwork. And Emily is uh, just, she shines her talent on the stage and she's so great to work with. Um, she also has stepped in to fill in a role unexpectedly, and she again did so with enthusiasm and it was a true leader in that role as well. Uh, so Emily is a, she's a great, wonderful, sweet, caring student, compassionate, hardworking, and I'm just, I'm so grateful to have you in class and all that you've brought to Dance LHS. So thank you, Emily, and congratulations. Hola a todos. 
I've nominated Isla Budak for the sophomore April Chew Wildcat Award. Isla, it has been so much fun having you in person. I could tell how awesome of a kid you were back in the full e-learning days. You were always willing to engage with me, let me know little fun things in the chat. And you here in class has just been an absolute delight. I love all those stories that you tell me, sharing about your cultural background, the foods, the games, the music that you love. Thank you so much. I do look forward to seeing you on Tuesdays and Fridays. Also, I want to give you a big shout out. Um, you know, everyone had like a little bit of a challenge at the start of the semester, especially with that e-learning, and you have totally turned it around. I am so proud of you. Keep up the good work. Keep up with your love of culture, the love of languages, and I see great things ahead for you in the future. I'm Elaine Shrek, and I'm very pleased to nominate Lauren Rocco for the April True Wildcat Award. Um, since the beginning of the year, Lauren has been uh, an outstanding student in Spanish for Honors this year. And what really set her apart for me from the other outstanding students in Spanish for is that from the beginning of the school year, Lauren has been like the only student who will unmute to say, hola, senora, when she comes on the Zoom call during our remote classes. And that has been such a nice connection for me to have with students when most of the time I feel like I'm just talking to myself. Um, so it's been really nice getting to know Lauren, uh, not only in the remote Zoom classes, but also now that she's come in more in person, um, I've gotten to see that she's just as friendly and great to have in class in regular school as she has been in e-school and she has even taken um, the wonderful situation of being the only girl in her hybrid track of our Spanish 4 class. Um, she's taken that in stride and she's continued to be outgoing and friendly and super positive in all of our classes. In addition to being a great, diligent, and dedicated Spanish learner, which I have really appreciated as well. So it's been my pleasure to have Lauren in class, and she truly deserves this award for being um, just such a great student to have. Thanks, Lauren. We nominated Emily for the True Wildcat because she has all of the characteristics needed for this award. She's a hard worker, she's so dedicated, and no matter what assignment we give her or what she's doing in class, she always strives to do her very best and always asks what improvements she can make. She works well with her peers and is constantly helping anytime in need. Emily is able to balance all her um, extracurricular activities, um, her sports. Emily was in swimming, bowling, badminton. Um, she's been able to handle the, all of those demands. She's also looking to get a job. Emily is able to balance all of that and still put all her best effort into school. Emily is such a pleasure to have in class and we're so proud to nominate her. Yay! Great job, Emily. Hi, I'm Mrs. O'Neill. I teach geometry and tutorial here at LHS. I'm nominating Cassidy Flattery for the True Wildcat Award. She is in my fourth period geometry class with Mr. Sullivan, but also stops in often during seventh period to, ask, to say hi or ask questions. Cassidy is a sophomore, but this is her first year at Libertyville. She has gone above and beyond to become part of the LHS community this year. She has overcome a lot to be here at LHS. And despite all of the pandemic challenges of this year, she has connected with teachers, become part of Best Buddies, and been just an awesome buddy to another student. She has also been chosen by other programs to help and lead. Cassidy is a smart cookie. She will never tell you this as she is extremely humble, but she really catches on fast and goes above and beyond to make sure she knows how and why in math. But more important than anything else, she's just a really nice, kind-hearted human. She and I connected shortly after the beginning of the year. She always asks how I am doing, how my family is doing. In fact, my own four children now make art for her as she always asks about them whenever I see her. Cassidy is daring. She is resilient, nimble, aware, and a dreamer and doer. Cassidy, you're a true wildcat, and I'm so proud of you. Go ahead, Parker. Hey, we're here to um, celebrate and congratulate Jackson Strauss, uh, true wildcat of the month. I enjoy his positive personality and his willingness to work on things that are not maybe always his favorite thing to do. 
but the work diligently uh, to get things done and uh, to interact always positively with the uh, peers and the adults in the school. Thanks, Jackson. And um, this isn't my nomination, but I just happen to be here. Good timing. So also congratulate Jackson on his incredible performance in U.S. history. I'm newly back from attorney leave and Jackson is just been a rock star. And uh, he always brings up new details and facts, his knowledge of world wars. It's been really helpful. And he's a Sox fan. So what's not to like? Amen. Congratulations, Jackson. Woo! <laughs> Hey, Mike Chalipsky here, team director in the Q through Z LST, and I'm here to nominate and recognize Mikey Scarpelli for the E School All Star True Wildcat for this month. Uh, I got to know Mikey when he was coming in for actually a tour of Highland Middle School back in eighth grade, um, and I've got to see him grow up quite a bit. Uh, Mikey's a kid that I wanted to recognize today just because he's so reliable, consistent, and just always gets the job done. His grades are great. Uh, he's never a behavior issue, and he's just a kid that we love to see him be successful and just embodies everything that a Wildcat is. Um, during COVID and with the pandemic, as kids have been coming back to school, it's one of the best parts of my day, just seeing kids coming through and uh, the smiles you can see via their eyes, um, even though you can't see it through their masks. Uh, but Mikey's a kid that he just comes by and just kind of brightens up your day. And so he's somebody I really wanted to recognize for just being somebody who's exemplary uh, in everything he does here at school. So great job, Mikey. We're super proud of you. Hi, my name is Mike Chalipsky and I'm the team director in the Q through Z LST. And I wanted to give a shout out to junior student Sarah Sterner. Uh, it has been fantastic just watching Sarah grow over the last few years um, as a junior now. Um, having seen her grow academically and socially um, has just been an absolute joy and to be honest why we get into education. Uh, as I was looking through a list of students and I was looking at some grades in power school, I almost fell off my chair just seeing how well Sarah has been doing in e-school. Uh, there's no doubt this has been a tough year but she has risen to the occasion and has been thriving and uh, we can't be more proud of her. So I can't believe she's a junior already and I really look forward to her coming back to school next year uh, so we can see her be even more successful as a senior uh, and then beyond. So Sarah, keep up the exceptional work and you are definitely an e-school all-star. Uh, we are very proud of you.